hey what's up guys david here from dignited today i want to show you a gmail hack that will save you time money and most importantly protect your recipient's privacy when sending bulk emails now whether you're organizing an event reaching out to your clients or just staying connected with a large group of people protecting the privacy of everyone's email is crucial Sure, there are great email marketing tools like MailChimp and SendGrid out there, but they can be costly and complicated for simple use cases. Now, this Gmail tip is completely free, easy to use, and perfect for small-scale bulk email needs. All right, so let's get into it. All right, to get started, I'll have to explain three fields that you'll find on any email client, and that is the two fields, CC and BCC. So what do these really mean and what are they used for? So the two field here is for primary recipients of your email. So these are people the message is directly intended for and who are expected to respond or act on the email. Now the CC field, also called carbon copy, is a field used to include additional recipients who need to be informed of the email's content but are not the primary audience. So people in the CC field usually don't need to take action but should be aware of the discussion. All right, so all recipients both in the two and CC field can see addresses listed in these fields, right? So the rookie mistake that I see people actually doing is putting the bulk emails in the CC field. And when they send out that email, each recipient of the email sees all the other recipients of that same email, which is really bad for privacy. So what most people don't really know is the last field, which is the BCC or blind carbon copy field. Now this field lets you send copy of the email to someone without the other recipients knowing. This is really important and this is what we're going to use. The people in the BCC field remain anonymous to others included in the two and CC fields as their email addresses are hidden. So this is often used for discretion or to prevent reply all issues in large groups. So this is what you should really use if you don't want everybody else to see everybody else's email addresses. And I'm going to demo to you right now how you can actually use these fields and I'll open the recipients and clearly show you what happens. All right, so I'm going to demo the usual way that people do, which is using the CC field. And then I'm going to demo again using the BCC field, which anonymizes all the email addresses. Okay, so let's send to our primary recipient here. Let's say David at ignited.com. Okay, and then we can CC two other people. It's editorial at dignited.com and support at dignited.com okay so i'll say testing bulk email testing bulk email using cc so let's send out and see what happens okay so i'm going to open david this is the primary email address and it's right here okay and you can see here we have uh, we can see who has been cc'd in which is editorial and support so when i come to support here the email is here you can see that actually all the recipient email addresses are actually revealed and this is not what you want you have editorial here and support here and it's the same thing when you come to support even support is going to see our uh, editorial editorial's email address here and also david here so this is not what you want for uh, sending bulk email addresses to people who don't know each other. That's not what you want. Instead, what you want to do here, all right, is to uh, use the BCC, the blind carbon copy field. So let's try that again using blind carbon copy. So in this case here, I'm going to skip the two field. I'm going to skip the carbon copy and instead use the blind copy. So let's try that again, editorial. And then we have David here, and then we have support here. So, testing bulk email using BCC. Testing bulk email using BCC to protect privacy of uh, the recipients. Right, there you go. So let's send and see, let's give it some time. Okay. Yeah, so when we view our sent email here, you can see I skipped the two field and only listed the BCC, the blind carbon copy field. And I put editorial, David, and support. 
okay with the intention that these people here cannot see each other's email addresses that's what i want okay so let's come here it's right here and indeed you can see here that it's only david okay who can see his email address he can't see all the other email addresses that i've sent to and then when you come to editorial should be the same thing okay you can only see editorial here and nobody else and it's the same thing with support support can only see support support cannot see david or editorial here so this is a very nifty trick or tip that you can use if you want to send out bulk email without spending much on uh, mailchimp or sendgrid or any of the other email marketing service providers right okay but you should note that there's a restriction to this gmail sending limit of 500 recipients per day for regular accounts and then i would recommend breaking down large recipient lists into smaller groups to avoid hitting gmail's limit so this can only go up to 500 recipients per day all right for free of course all right so i guess this tip of using bcc to protect privacy and also to save you some bit of money as an alternative to mailchimp and sendgrid is a useful tip i encourage you to like this video share it with uh, family and friends because i see a lot of people repeating this mistake over and over again and exposing uh, their recipients email addresses to everybody else and then before you know it people begin to have a lot of spam email in their inboxes simply because people don't know this trick so share it widely with uh, family and friends like the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one